Good morning. Welcome to an episode of Driveway Garage. Today I wanted to show you the awning I put up. It's uh, one of those temporary carports. I guess it's permanent if you use it long enough. Anyway, I bought this one pretty cheap with no tarp. And I put a tarp on it and I just wanted to show you how I did that and how I secured it. So I'll flip this camera around and show you what's going on. So I think I paid 50 bucks for the metal framework and it just snaps together with these little push buttons. So it was pretty easy to disassemble it, put it back together, but it didn't have a tarp. So I did a bunch of research and I didn't want to spend the hundred or $200 on one that fits exactly because they're usually not that heavy duty and the wind tears them up after a year, maybe two. This is a pretty heavy duty tarp. Sorry for the little glitch there. I had to sneeze, so I paused it. So I bought a 10, let's see, what is this? 10 by 20. Now I really should have had about an 11, maybe 12 by 20, but I couldn't find a 12 by 20 like I wanted. And they say these are six inches smaller than the size that they list so a 10 footer ends up being nine and a half and a the 20 foot ends up being 19 and a half but in my case as you can see the 20 foot really was 20 foot this that's how long this parking structure is and that's how long the tarp is but on the short side I didn't care so much if it covered it completely because I don't need 100% protection. I just want some shade when I'm working on my vehicles. And in this case, I left it over my workbench partway so I have some shaded area here in the afternoon. Eventually, I'm going to put this over against the fence and I'm going to move the parking structure out in the middle of the driveway here. But I'm postponing that because I'm working on firewood back there. And I'm going in and out of the driveway a lot. So I was by myself when I put the tarp up. So what I did was I got my leaf blower and I blew all the dirt off of the driveway. And then I laid the tarp out here on the driveway and unfolded it. And then I, I brought this side up first and I put a few of these straps on it. Now these straps, sometimes they come with them, sometimes they don't. You can buy them on Amazon and other places. This one is a small one. It's like maybe six inches. These other ones are bigger. And then I just ordered some that are, I think they're nine or 11 inches. But they stretch up to about almost 16 inches, which is what I need for that side. Because I ran out of these bungee cords. So I just used a piece of rope and uh, laced it in there just to hold it in place. So back to the tarp. I put about three of these straps on here to hold it in place. And then I got my little short ladder. I can't remember if I used that one or a bigger one. I have several ladders. but And then I just started working it over the top. I started grabbed the bottom corner and then I just started carrying it up and I worked my way back and forth until I got it over the top, brought it over the other side and put some straps all the way around it. And it worked pretty good. You can do it by yourself. You don't need two people. Although two people's nice because you can have one on both end and just walk it up with the ladder over the top. It makes it a lot easier. But I'm pretty happy with the tarp so far. It's heavy duty. Um, I need to do a few extra straps or something to hold it, get the wrinkles out of it, but I think it's going to hold up pretty good in the snow and wind. Uh, what else can I tell you? Put your straps on. You, I, I could have went to a, let's see, this is a 10 footer and from, from this bar to the center is about six foot. So this is ended up working out pretty close to a 10 foot by 20 foot tarp. I was afraid if I got the 12 footer that it would hang over the side so much 
I wouldn't be able to tie it down tight and then it would just be flopping in the wind all the time, which I didn't want. Now down here, I have to stretch these cords in order to get them to come out here where I want them to the outside bar. <clears throat> so what I did is I took the bar out. You can see it's right there. I disconnected both ends, pulled it out. And then I'm going to slide it through. In fact, I'll just do it right now while you're watching. I'm going to slide it through the hoops, hopefully. See if I can get you in the picture there. There's one. There's two. Let's count along, everybody. Just kidding. Three. And four. This is one of my old ones. That's why it's solid black and these are striped. But, uh, you know what? I think I'll pause my camera and then I'll get my tripod set up and <clears throat> you can watch me try to put this together. I'm hoping it works because I have to stretch it almost to the max with those bungee cords. And I'm going to be trying to do four of them. It might be interesting. I'll pause it and see if I can get my tripod hooked up so you can watch it. All right, I got the camera. Well, it's not really a tripod. Maybe I'll show it to you in a minute. It's a clamping device. But anyway, I'm going to try to hook this together. And you guys can watch me. Maybe I'll make a fool of myself. Well, that actually went better than I thought it was going to. So, if you guys have one of these, you need to replace the tarp or you buy a new one, it gives you an idea how to put it together. Hopefully that helps you. Thanks for watching. And uh, let me take this off my clamp. I'll show you what I have going here real quick. I found this at a yard sale, I think, and I was going to put it beside my bed to hold my phone but it never did quite work out right it wouldn't stay clamped the squeezy part right here it's like uh trying to think of what you call it but i can't think of it anyway it wants to just keep kind of sliding off but i found it works good around here i can clamp it onto a vehicle or something else when i'm making videos and it holds my phone pretty good this opens up quite a bit my phone fits in there, so that's what I use. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Tomorrow, I live in central Washington. It's going to be 117 degrees. I lived in Texas. I lived in Arizona. And I don't think I ever saw 117 degrees. And I sure never saw it in Washington. I've been here for 15 years. Anyway, thanks for watching. Feel free to share, like, subscribe, and have a great day. And have a happy 4th of July.